Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Avalanche's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, in the long term, I am extremely, extremely bullish on AVAX because I do believe that in this move on the upside, we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure, probably into a larger degree wave 1, and then an ABC in form of a zigzag to somewhere around the low slow into a wave 2. And according to this scenario, the next move in AVAX is going to be a big one on the upside into wave 3 and 4 and 5. And just the minimum target for this wave 3 is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the highest high in here about, let's say, $155. So in the long term, we are very, very bullish. And by the way, no just because i put the end of this wave 5 to somewhere around 3k doesn't mean that we're gonna go there no these are just to show the general patterns which are again very bullish now in the midterm we are also seeing some very very bullish signs and it's the fact that off of the low slow we are having another one two three four five wave impulsive structure up and followed by that a correction down and it can be on a higher degree another one and a two and after our correction for wave two is over or maybe it's actually over already the idea is that we're going to get hopefully another big move up into wave three and four and five now let's talk about an impulsive structure a bit more you see if you want to argue for example we are going to have our final bottom around this area maybe this is going to be like a very important support okay off of it you need to be able to find as i'm sure you know it by now a one two three four five wave on the upside this thing right in here is a normal five wave the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave four and wave two and in any kind of impulsive movement wave three right in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and for the sub waves five up into wave one three and five let's just draw the waves and change the color for this one there we go another five into wave three and this is going to be our final five wave into wave five and for our corrections for wave two and four we can have different scenarios let's say sure abc into wave four and yeah a wxy structure into wave two and if we can find this structure off of the low slow it is going to be a very very bullish sign that's just the bottom we said understood next because we are now going to count some sub waves and see what is going on and see why right now i am actually very very bearish in avax in the short term you see in the previous videos we were saying when we were somewhere around these areas okay this can be maybe a one two and then let's put the end of our wave three and four and five in here and we were saying well okay maybe we're gonna have another one two three and then this might be a correction for four and after it we need to get another move up into wave five in order for us to remain bullish and say maybe this red five up is going to be into this larger degree wave three and then correction for four another move up into wave five and basically we are going to be bullish but as you can see we got this move on the side right in here and this is in my opinion a very very important bearish sign in avalanche pressure because in this move we took this low about let's say 26 and a half dollars and here is the situation if you want to say that this is a correction a structure down and this is an impulsive movement on the upside and basically there was a same well okay how can you find a five wave up in here are you going to say that this is a one correction for wave two and then another move up into wave three and four and five if you are going to argue that maybe this scenario is in play well okay we said that earlier wave three in any kind of impulsive movement shouldn't be the smallest thing first let's put the chart on regular scale there we go let's zoom a bit more and measure the length of our wave three and compare it to the other waves so let's measure our wave three from this point to about this height is wave 3 going to be bigger than wave 5 as you can see no and is it going to be bigger than wave 1 as you can see absolutely 100% not so it means this structure right in here this 1 2 3 4 5 which is now pretty much our best shot at finding an impulsive movement in this area of, of the lowest low in avalanche's price chart 
is not a possibility and is not allowed in terms of Elliot waves and it means more likely than not we are having in this area in AVAX a correction structure on the upside and well this means at one point we are going to get a move down in AVAX in an attempt to take the low slow in here about let's say $22 so because we got this move down and in it we took this lower region here now we are going to be bearish in like very short time and say there is a very good chance that our downtrend in AVAX is starting from this side right now at least it's not going to be over and this can be a correction up maybe sure let's take this one excuse me maybe an A B C S structure maybe a W exploit doesn't really matter this thing now is going to be generally some sort of a correction and not an impulsive movement and our move down is actually going to continue for quite a bit now in the previous video in like very short time i said well okay this can be according to a very very bearish scenario five down into one correction for wave two and then maybe we are going to get another solid five wave on the downside into wave three four five and technically this scenario still can be in play but i'm going to argue that maybe the end of our wave three is going to be right in here and then this might be a correction for wave 4 and we are having another move on the side into wave 5. And this might be, okay, maybe an A, B, C on the upside. And in like very short time, you may see a move up in Avalanche price chart. But again, in my opinion, this is not going to be a bullish sign. Okay, please, please remember that. Chances are this is just going to be a correction structure. And after our correction is over, we are going to get a continuation of the move down in AVAX in an attempt to take this low right in here about, let's say, $22. And I do not believe that we are going to stop there. No, in my opinion, a likely target can be somewhere around this very, very important support area, which the lower band of it is about, let's say, 17 and the higher band of it is about 19, 19 and a half dollars. So you see, from the current point, I am expecting at least a 30% move on the downside in AVAX's price chart. Now, what is going on in terms of indicators? Let's zoom in a bit more on weekly chart and see what is happening. Excuse me, there we go. So, as you can see, we are having a buy signal in stock RSI, but in MACD, we are still having a sell signal, which is quite a bearish sign. And in daily time frame, what is going on? Okay, this is not a good sign because we are having now a confirmed sell signal in MACD and stock RSI at the same time, which suggests that we might actually continue this move down. And by the way, because in stock RSI, we are somewhere around the oversold region, this might actually be a bullish sign in like very short time that suggests we are going to get a move up. But again, I do not believe that this move is going to be a very, very strong bullish sign. No, chances are this is going to be part of a correction structure, maybe an ABC, maybe a WXY, and after it's over, we are going to get a continuation of the move down in Avalanche's price chart. So for now, unfortunately, we are going to be quite bearish in ABEX's price chart and say this move down is going to continue for at least another 25 to 30%, and a lucky target for it is going to be reaching to somewhere around this area between let's say 17 to maybe 19 and a half dollars which is a very important support so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in avalanche's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.